All right. Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, the homie Zach Civit 10. Today, I have something pretty good. Let me uh, get this right quick. All right. So, in this specific episode, I'm finna be, you know, covering what's in the title. But, um, welcome to another legendary grand food review. And in today's episode, it's, it's, it's not necessarily a food review. It's a, it's a, um, sauce review this one specifically so it still counts um it's not specific it's not specific to a food though like exactly um but i will be eating um and hash brown for my breakfast to try this out um and maybe more if it turns out to be good so the last sauce that i tried was the jack daniels honey barbecue that was amazing and the chick-fil-a sauce polynesian and the other chick-fil-a just to make sure it was amazing so now uh Every sauce, basically, that I chose and tried have been good. But today's episode is based on the pink sauce. I saw this at the store, and I was, I've was i never seen this. Never. In Arizona, never seen it. Uh, and then, all of a sudden, I randomly see it um, while I'm here. And I'm all like, I don't know if I want to skip out on that. Because that might not last all the time. And there's just a lot behind the story behind it. Like, a lot of controversies and a lot of stuff... This is just a big story that's behind this pink sauce, and uh, I don't remember it, all of it, every little detail, but I remember that, uh, you know, there's just a lot going on with it, and I was like, you know what, I gotta try it out, um, and it's like dragon fruit or something in it, and it's just, it sounds like it could be good. Some of the ingredients that are in there sound like they could be, you know, super popping. I can't get this open, though, so give me a second. Just, oh, there we go. Maybe it was a lot easier than I thought. Oh, it's stuck on. Alright. I don't know if I should be scared of that. Because normally that should come off. But my hands are a little slippery anyway. Just washed them. So let me get a good smell. Hold on. So it's like, it smells like a thousand island type of thing. But it does not have those. So as, as, it, as far as the smell goes, it's good. And I'm a ranch guy. I like some ranch, you know, so, uh, especially in my chicken. But that's just one of many flavors that I will put on my chicken. So let's get this going. I would show you guys how it looks um, when it hits the plate. But I honestly don't know if I can because this specific camera doesn't let me do all that stuff. So the best I could do is just. So it's, uh, it's definitely liquidy. Maybe good, maybe bad. We'll see. Get my hash brown here. Let's go. Uh, Legendary Grand Entertainment. Let's go. That was not what I was expecting. What the? Hold on. That's different. That's different. Hmm. Let me give that another try. Let me let me let me let me sizzle in this. You know what? Okay. That was not what I was expecting. When I saw those ingredients, let me try one more time. One more, one more uh, third time a charm. Hmm. Wow, that's interesting. There's nothing like that. You know what? And this is my honest review. All right. It might be my taste buds. It might be because I like ranch. You probably know where I'm going with this because of how I started that sentence off. I might be for the time being. I might rate it higher later on, but seven out of ten. That's that's actually solid. That's kind of good. Now it's like slightly spicy. Um, it's like ranch, and I don't know what dragon fruit tastes like, but it has a very, uh, f fruit, maybe sweet taste combined with, like, ranch. I don't know if ranch is most of it. White vinegar and garlic, I think I taste that. I'm looking at the ingredients right now to actually, uh, explain it. Uh, coconut, possibly. I'm not too entirely sure if there's a lot of coconut, or at least does it overpower the certain tastes. That's solid. That's solid. I've seen it around for years. 
Never tried it. Saw it at the store. Bought it. Today's the day I try it. Yeah, that's pretty solid. That's a that's a seven out of ten easily. Um, it might go higher at some point. I'm not sure. All right, I just tasted it by itself for like the third time. Second, second, third time. I need third. It's weird because it's like it's a good combination of flavors. I think I think it's not bad. There's a slight spice to it, like I said though. It's not hot. It's good. But there's a slight spice to it, and I think it works just fine. I like that. You can even call it the pink dragon sauce, honestly, or dragon sauce or something. And I think that would be kind of nice. But the pink sauce as is, I think it's not bad. Whoever made that, Chef P or whatever, Chef Pie, I'm I'm not sure. Overnight, internet and shit, yeah. Makes sense. I, I'll give it to Chef Pie, 100%. Like, Pie... I don't know if she makes pink sauce pie, but she probably should. That that's pretty solid. I'll have to give it to him for that one. Um, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. So definitely try it out if you ever see it at the store. Um, especially if you like ranch, because there's a, there's definitely a ranch in there. Um, and yeah, that's that's gonna be my review for this. Uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. You already know the deal. Um, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a legendary grand day. Appreciate y'all for watching and checking out the channel, supporting and all that. And I'll see y'all in the next video. It's been your boy. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all next time. And uh, peace.